a review of my top five videos of 2023. Welcome back to the channel, Pipe Smokers. Southern Piper here. I want to thank you for joining me today as I uh, go down the list of my top five videos in 2023. We're also going to take a look at what the plan is in the coming year for the channel. The reason I'm doing this video is uh, a way for me to basically thank you all the viewers and the uh, subscribers. <clears throat> so we'll start with the uh, top five. Now this is a top five list based on views during the year of 2023. Uh, one of these was actually uh, from 2022, but got a lot of carryover view. So let's get into it. Number one video of the year was the Mule Town Pipe Show 2023. That video got 6,100 plus views, so thank y'all for that. That is uh, tremendous. I think that's all time uh, high for. Uh, Viewership for me. Number two on the list was the top five blends from 2022. That actually was put out uh, the last week of 2022, but it got 3,200 plus views uh, during the year of 2023. Uh, so thank y'all for that. Coming in third was the Central Alabama Pipe Club Meetup, February 2023, with 2,400 plus views. I believe the reason that got so many views uh, was because of the uh, the cover photo features two fantastic guys in the YTPC, Smoking the Ghost and Bama Guitar Dude. Uh, but thank y'all for viewing those. Number four was a special Yabo direct from Dublin, Ireland. Uh, received 2,100 plus views. And number five was cigars versus pipe smoking, a cost comparison, which got just under 2,000 at uh, 1,800 plus views. Um, so I think that's tremendous. That's that's more views than I really thought I would ever get uh, for videos. Um, a little bit humbling, quite frankly. But thank y'all. Uh, particularly those who are my regular viewers and subscribers um, who pretty much watch all of my videos. So thank y'all so much. So a little housekeeping before I go on. This is actually the pipe uh, that I received in the special Yabo from Dublin. It is a uh, Peterson XL14 in their St. Patrick's Day edition from last year. My in-laws brought this back uh, from their trip to Ireland, um, uh, which was really cool. Uh, I, I love this pipe. I smoke it all the time, uh, whether it be on camera or not. I do smoke this a lot. Uh, in it, I have some Condor that <clears throat> they brought me back. So that was, that was part of the, uh, the Yabo as well. I'm not gonna show the package directly on, um, on the video because I think it's tragic uh, what they do in Europe uh, 
with the health warnings, which are quite a bit silly for pipe tobacco in my opinion. Quite tragic, quite tragic. The tamper I'm using was also part of the Yabo. It is a Peterson branded uh, multi-tool tamper. And then the pen I'm using for my note is a custom pen gifted to me by my good friend Lakeside Piper. Thank you. And I'll show you the lighter. Uh, the lighter is uh, a gift from Princess Trudy. Uh, it is a Zippo with the uh, uh, Air Force roundel on it. So I appreciate that. Uh, drinking some Tim Horton coffee out of my Southern Piper mug. Sitting in my man cave. So that's, that's about as much housekeeping as we can tolerate. So let's talk about the plan for 2024. Um, I will certainly be doing meetup videos uh, each month. Uh, I, I should be able to attend all the meetups this year. Last year I did meet, uh, miss a couple due to uh, family um, plans. Um, one of those, uh, well, several of those actually were related to moving kids in and out of dorms. Uh, so, but this year should be, hopefully, uh, I'll hit catch all 12. But I will be doing videos and putting those out here. Um, the Briary turns 50 this year. Uh, Skip has been in business for quite some time. Uh, there is going to be a celebration to my understanding. Uh, will include uh, a few you know, well-known names in the pipe industry. I'm not going to uh, say more than that because I don't know what's going to happen uh, as far as um, you know, showing those up. He hasn't announced yet, so I'm not going to steal that thunder, but my understanding is he's planning a big celebration, uh, so I will be there for that. Uh, even though I am a pipe-first channel, uh, I, I probably will do some more cigar uh, videos this year um, simply because uh, I want to and it's my channel. So, um, stay tuned for those. The only other thing I would like to get into uh, will be um, I want to do some more interviews. So at the Pipe Club meetups, I may be doing interviews that I pull out and make individual uh, standalone videos for themselves as well as uh, any traveling I do I will try to uh, take tours and interview if there are tobacco shops both uh, pipe as well as cigar shops so that's pretty much the plan um, I'm not going to do any regularly scheduled uh, pipe content like I've done in the past uh, that just got too much for me um, between work, family life, uh, it, was, it was too hard to keep up that uh, routine. So, uh, but what I will do, uh, like I said, is, is I'm going to probably try to create multiple content videos out of single events. So uh, that should be good. There will be some reviews. Uh, I'm sure there will be some tobacco reviews, depending on what I want to get into. Uh, I will likely potentially do uh, things like uh, some of my uh, older favorite tobaccos like um, University Flake, I've never reviewed that, I'm a fan of it, yeah. McConnell's Scottish Flake, I'm a big fan of that, uh, may do this Condor, so we'll see, but I, I will do some tobacco reviews, not many, uh, and certainly not regularly scheduled, so. That's the plan. Uh, again, uh, I appreciate everybody's support and viewership. And to my subscribers, thank you. Uh, it is fun. I plan to keep doing it. Uh, I enjoy. 
obviously meeting the viewers I've met in person as well as the ones that I communicate with either in the comment section or via email. Um, I really do feel like I have friends all over the world now uh, brought together by the pipe. So uh, I will certainly continue uh, maintaining the channel and putting out new content. So uh, it's going to be a fun year. Thanks so much. Happy New Year.